good, everyone? This is your host, Deanna Kempel of Label Free Podcast. To live your best life, you must live label free. So I am super excited. I have a very special guest from all the way across the world on the other side <laughs> of the world from Sydney, Australia. Let me introduce Sydney Shames. She is, did I say that right? Yes, perfect. Okay, perfect. She is an awesome mentor with branding, design, social media, messaging, ma marketing, and mindset. She is an awesome coach. So Cindy, why don't you introduce yourself to our, my audience and tell us a little bit about your background and like why it's so great what you do and why it's important for people to use someone like you. Thank you. Thanks, Deanna. So great to be here. So hi, everybody and um, your awesome community. It's so wonderful to be here. Um, so I'm a business and mindset coach and um, I kind of mesh the two together because I truly believe that mindset is such a positive or it can be such a big um, part of everything that we do, no matter if it's business, life, whatever that is, if our mindset's not right, then nothing really works. So um, that's kind of what I do. I work with female entrepreneurs um, to grow and scale their businesses. So even from the beginning of their businesses, we work to actually grow their businesses and then to scale their businesses. And um, the reason I got into this was when I first started my business many, many years ago, and I've had a few businesses, I didn't have the luxury of somebody that was able to hold my hand yeah. and take me through all the trials and tri tribulations, right, of a business. Yeah. So I really get down and dirty with everybody and we, we work on everything from branding to marketing to whatever is stopping you um, in your tracks to be successful in business. So um, I guess I'm lucky. I've got a background in design as well. So I really do help people with their messaging and their design to, to really get noticed. I love that. So we actually, we know somebody, you know, Tara, and she was a, a, a guest of mine um, a couple weeks ago on the podcast and she, she designs handbags. So I had posted about you on my Facebook page and she was like, oh, she's great. So <laughs> I, and I've actually, since she said that, I was like, oh, wow. So that must be, you must be the influence on how she's starting to really like increase her social media presence. Because I mean, that's really key these days. I mean, social media is free to like uh, put yourself out there. And I think it's so important. I am lacking cause I, you know, I, I juggle a lot of different things and I know I can be better at it and, and I just have to have a better plan of action. But tell us about your process with a female entrepreneur when they come to you and say, Hey, I need to like get more like exposure on my business. So how do you go about doing that with them? That's so interesting that, that um, Tara commented. So Tara uh, was a client of mine at the beginning of the year. And um, it was so, it was great because she came to me and she had a consult with me before she was working with me. And I literally looked at some of her, the work that she's doing. I gave her some advice and I was, she implemented everything I said. She was so great. And before even joining to work with me, she increased her sales by 30%. So she was like, okay, great. I'm going to have to work with you. And um, she came to work with me. We looked at her Instagram and she was really afraid to go out, to put herself out there. She was afraid to actually put her, her face on there and to really get that no like, and trust factor, which you need to create yeah. with um, your future clients. So we, we, we kind of worked on getting her feeling comfortable and putting herself out there. And I'm, I'm watching her today and she's just killing it. She's putting herself out there. She's on lives. She's loving it. She's enjoying her brand. Um, so it does absolutely make such a difference. People like to buy from people. People yeah. don't want to buy. Yeah, exactly. Right. So no matter how you feel, and I know that it's very daunting to put yourself out there, whether it's on a podcast like we're doing today, or whether it's on a live, or even just a photo. I have a, a client at the moment who's a nutritionist, okay. and I'm really encouraging her, put your face out there. People want to see who's behind the smoothies, because that's what, make pe that's what makes people want to work with you, is to, to really be a person and to show your trials, your tribulations, your journey. That we were all we were all kind of doing the same thing in a, at a different part of our, our growth journey, but we're all out there, you know, um, kind of really trying to make it work. I've had a very hard time um, 
putting my face out there. I'm better, much better now. Like I don't, I don't give a fuck now. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my swearing, but you know, not at all. It's really, but I mean, I, but it took me a while to actually really like get comfortable with doing lives and not always looking perfect. You know, obviously I'm like, I got myself glammed up for today, but you know, you have to really allow yourself to be vulnerable to allow people to connect with you because we are all human and we're not, we don't look perfect every single day. And I think that when you are, when you do put your most authentic self out there, more and more people connect with you and they say, oh, hey, I want to, I want to buy from this person or I want to connect with this person or what have you, whatever it is that they're selling. I mean, I don't really sell anything. I'm just like, I just want to entertain and put like <laughs> good positive messages out there for people to, you know, because there's not enough positive things out there especially this year this year has been like yeah <laughs> all right done <laughs> uh it's this this year has been like a write-off of a year but but what you do is so important i think there's a there's a place for everybody and yanish you're so amazing to um give us all the opportunity and a little platform to oh. to speak to people and to help people and i think that's that isn't such an important part of this journey as well it's all it's all so important everything that we all do is so important and you're so supportive to all of us. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I, it's, you know what, this brings me so much joy to do this. And even though we had some technical difficulties. <laughs> we did. <laughs> getting get everything together. Okay, you guys, like, so we tried like probably 10 times. So you we better did. do this episode or I'll, I'll so, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. We did. <laughs> we really, we really, um, before we went live, guys, we were just really testing on who is actually going to make this work? Because we couldn't, Zoom wasn't working and, it's, and we both said to each other, we are not, we are out there. We're going to make this work no matter what. We are strong women. We're not, <laughs> I think, give, not giving up. <laughs> yeah. And I think, you know, that's what this whole entrepreneur journey is about. It's about when things get really tough. And I noticed that, and I've been through that myself and I see with my clients too. It's when things get really, really tough that people want to give up. And it's oh, at yeah. those moments that if you have a coach that can help you or you have somebody that can be there for you, that can get you through that, that's when the change happens. That's when the growth happens. Oh, for sure. Definitely. It's in those moments of, oh my gosh, the Zoom isn't working. I, I, I want to give up. No, right? We're going to make this work. Or I'm super nervous to go live today. I don't look good, but you know, I've got to show up for my community. It's all those moments that really separate the people that are going to succeed and the ones that are just going to go, okay, you know what? I'm going to try something else. So I encourage all of you that are listening, if you are feeling nervous to put yourself out there or you are in a stage in your business where you're being super challenged and you go, what am I doing this for? It's so hard. Those are the moments that you're going to grow. Those are the moments to either reach out for help or push yourself or you know, do something that you know is going to really help you grow your business. Don't give up. It's just such an amazing, wonderful journey. And those are very common thoughts. So I've been an entrepreneur probably like almost oh, more than half my life. I think I had my first business at 18. Then I met my husband. We had five businesses together. He passed yeah. away five years ago. Oh, and then I, you know, I started over and then I've had a couple of businesses since then, you know, and I consider my podcast a business because I, I mean, I do, oh, yeah. I do advertise for it. You know, I do invest in that. And, you know, I mean, I, I ultimately I would love to monetize it, but I mean, I'm just having fun right now. And I really, I just, I just love talking to amazing dynamic people like yourself, but those thoughts are very common and you're right. The growth happens when you push past that and I'm a bodybuilder. So, you know, as a bodybuilder and, you know, I, actually I was two weeks out before this pandemic like really hit and everything got shut down. And you go through phases like that, almost like an entrepreneur or when you're trying to achieve anything in life where you're like, oh, I just can't do it anymore. I'm just going to give up. But it's like at that point, you really define who you are when you can just push past it. And that that reward on the other side of that is so huge. And you don't so even and I don't, I don't think people really realize how big mm -hmm. that is for them in so many different ways. I mean, I, I mean, I've just experienced it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Although I was getting ready to like give up with the Zoom thing, I'm like, man, oh I had a long. No, no, no. No. <laughs> but you know, it's so true. And and what I'm finding is, um, don't be afraid to reach out for help. People are so afraid to reach out for help when you hit that wall. 
reach out for help. And whether that's a coach, mentor, or a course, or whatever you feel is right for you. But I also feel that you are worth investing in yourself and your business. And when you start investing in yourself and you start investing in your business, that's when the change happens. Oh, yeah. That's when you go from just being 500 followers to really breaking those kind of goals that you really want to reach. It's it, everybody, I mean, you know, as a bodybuilder, no matter where you are in your life as a, a, an amazing bodybuilder or an incredible entrepreneur, everyone has got somebody backing them behind them, really getting them to the next level. So I notice a lot of people are so afraid, oh, I can do this on my own or um, I don't have the money to invest, but it's all, it's all that mindset that we've got to go, no, this is where it changes me from just, yeah. from just being a hobby yeah. to being a real business. And if it was something else that you, would, you were doing, you would invest in that because that's sure. what's going to make you feel better. So don't be afraid to ask for help if you get stuck and, and, and be there to support yourself and get people to be on your team because it's so worthwhile. I love it. So what did you do prior to becoming a mindset business coach? So I've, I've also been an entrepreneur, I think for most of my adult life, I started many, many, many years ago. I am actually an illustrator by trade. So I'm a, an illustrator and a graphic designer okay. and I was in fashion and my first successful business that I had, yes, I know, right? I so know, cool. like I just, I love my fashion. See, I'm like wearing something. For I know, pick. right? I, I noticed. <laughs> um, I actually developed a brand, which was the baby sleep sack. And I don't know, I know that you have that in America as well, but I don't know, but um, it sounds familiar. Yeah. 32 years ago, I designed a baby sleep sack. So I it's, feel, you, it's feel, you look like you're in I your was, 20s, early 30s. Girl. What are you talking <laughs> about 32 years ago? Well, maybe I, it was, yeah, maybe it was um, 30. Yeah. It was around about 30 years ago, but okay. it was a sleep sack and um, where your, the baby's hands are free, but they've got this sleep sack with a zipper up there. So when they don't kick their covers off. Right. Sure. And I was very fortunate and very bold. I went, um, I was in Australia at the time and um, I was, went into a big departmental store, which is like blooming, blooming Dales for you guys. Okay. And I went to speak to the buyer and the, buy, the buyer said to me, Oh, I love this design, but I want it only in pink or blue. We only want pink or blue. And I said to her, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. I said, actually, well, my designs are like, they done. They make their, their oranges and purples and they've got spots and they've got designs and, and they're very like exciting and, and vibrant uh, colors. And yeah. she said, look, to be honest, if you can't do pink and blue, maybe we should leave it. And I went, okay, well, it's not, it's not authentic to my brand. My brand it was called Bebop and it was okay. Bebop Kids and it was exciting and, ex and beautiful colors. And I don't do the plain kind of wishy-washy yeah. colors. And she said, okay, fine. And I walked out of the meeting and yeah. I stood, I did, right? I stood in the city and I went, what have oh. I done? <laughs> There's the cat. What have I done? This is crazy. <laughs> I just missed such a brilliant opportunity. Anyway, fast forward, I went home. I was like, oh, I want to go back. What have I done? Should I email her? I had all this like, woo. And fast forward a couple of days and I got an email from her to say that she'd spoken to one of her directors. Okay. They were super happy with the concept. And would I be happy to go in nationally in Australia into That's seven, cool. I think it was seven different um, states. Oh, wow. So it was a huge breakthrough for me and, and really a huge lesson as well for sure. me and for everybody out there to be authentic to yourself and be authentic to your brand because that's what makes you stick out from the rest. For sure. So that was my first business. And then um, I went to live in LA. I've been in LA for 15 years and um, I was illustrating and my, my vision and my hope was always to illustrate for um, A-list celebrities. I just I just wanted to be you know, I wanted to put myself out there and, um, I was at UCLA doing a, I had done a beautiful, um, image for, um, non-for-profit. I did quite a bit of non-for-profit work. And while I was there, I was invited to, and I was carrying this beautiful big uh, picture and a lady came up to me and she said, Oh, what is that? And she started talking to me and she said, Oh, you know, we have Oprah's Super Soul Sunday. Do you want to come to one of our Super Soul Sundays? And I'm like, Yes, of course. Yeah. So I landed up going to the Super Soul Sunday and illustrating a piece of artwork for Oprah's team. That's so cool. Um, so, you know, opportunities come up, but you've got to put yourself out there. You've got to feel good about yourself. You've got to wake up every morning going, this is my journey. I'm going to make it happen for myself. So, you know, through all that, I've had the trials and tribulations of putting myself out there and 
learning what works and what doesn't work, how to market yourself, how to um, do your PR, how to have an email list. But I didn't in the beginning invest in a coach and I wish I would have because the clients that I'm working with now, I'm like, I wish I had someone telling me to do what I'm, what what we're working on now when I was starting because it's so much harder if you don't have that support. (laughs) It is. Yes. It is very hard if you don't have support like that. So I would have to agree with you. So, yeah. So how long have you been a coach now? So I, I actually went to UCLA and I qualified through UCLA um, in 2013. Oh, okay. And I've been coaching, yeah, since then. I, had a fa- I was doing face-to-face coaching, a lot of face-to-face coaching. Okay. And um, the wonderful thing of coaching, th- of getting my certification through um, UCLA was we had to do 30 hours of coaching. And we had to oh, yeah. coach people from homeless to executives. Oh, so I went into God. the homeless shelter and I coached incredible people. That's, men, that had women. to be like so heart-wrenching, it but was, so rewarding at the same time. Oh it my was gosh. So amazing to see and how smart these people are and just not having opportunities yeah. to get themselves out there. Yeah. It was wonderful. And I loved doing that. And I did that for quite a while because I wanted to, because I felt that was just, I feel that that was just such an important part of my growth journey too. Sure. Um, and then obviously, you know, then I came back because my family is Australian. I'm Australian. I came back to Australia at the end of 2019 and I, because most of my clients are American, I, I went on, on everything I do on Zoom now. So yeah. all my clients, I don't have any Australian clients, funnily enough. I have mostly American, but I have from all over the world. So sure. um, I'm on Zoom now. So I, I coach people from all over and I just love it. It's, it's so fantastic. And what I love about Zoom and what we're doing right now is, first of all, we're making the world a smaller place. But I work with my clients. Like I was working with my client last week. She didn't know how to design something on Canva. We hopped on together and we can do it together on Zoom, which Canva is, is cool. so helpful. Canva yeah. is cool. When I was, yeah. when I was so in great. fashion design, I was, that was one of the tools that, that I had found. So yeah, yeah. it's I, brilliant. I love- you're able to get your creative juices out there. So um, what is the process if somebody wanted to hire you as a coach? Like, do you have like an intake form? Like, how do you go about taking on a new client? Oh, thanks for asking. So for me, it's really about reaching out to me. I have a website, which is um, Believe by Design. And you can go on there and um, contact me through there. Otherwise, I do quite, I'm quite um, visual on social media. I do a lot of um, social media posting every day. I've got a social media community, a, uh, sorry, a Facebook community where people okay. can come in and get to know me and um, reach out to me through there. Um, I'll give you obviously um, a link to that people, yes. if they oh, just I'm want to go straight, straight in. in the description so you can contact her. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, you can go straight in. I, I have an acuity so you can go in and book a time to talk to me. But I always feel like, and these people go, oh my God, I absolutely love her. I want to work with her. I'm going to book right now. Um, come in and have a chat. Come in and talk to me. Tell me where you're stuck. Let's see if we're a good fit, how I can help you. Because I feel like coaching is a relationship. It is like a dating relationship. And you want to know that this coach that you're working with is going to get you to where you need to be. I'm very, very actionable. I make sure that our sessions are full jam packed of everything I can do to get you to that next level. Because working with me, my results outspeak everything that I do. So I want to make sure that you are going to be successful. And every, I don't have a program that's, you go in and you do a program. I tailor every bit of coaching to the individual because everyone's different. Right. Yeah. So you can come and you can do a six week course with me if you want, or six week coaching program with me. And then I do a three month and then I do a six month. And it depends on where you are, what your budget is. And I just make sure that I can always um, accommodate everybody at the stage that they are in their business. Businesses. That's very cool. I love that. I mean, I've actually seen, so I didn't know that you were coaching Tara until she said that when she commented, I was like, oh, okay. So that made sense to me because she has just like totally, like, I've been trying, I was trying to get her on my podcast for a very long time and she, it was very difficult. And, and I knew that she had some hesitation and I know some other female entrepreneurs that are very hesitant to put their face out there. And it's just like, why? You're awesome. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you're just talking to me anyways, and I'm just going to put it out there for you. So you don't even have to worry about it. But I have seen her do like 
her like her turnaround like what she's done on, on social media has just been amazing i mean i've yeah. been i love it and i told her that when we talked when we did a, the episode i'm just like i've been watching you and i'm really loving what i'm seeing that you're putting out there and so so Thank i can you. i can like be a voice for you and say yes i have seen oh. that that success with one of your clients so that's Thank very, you. very, very, very cool. And I don't yeah. think people realize that social media, I mean, is such a valuable tool once you learn how to use it and just the, the, the dividends that come from investing in it and just putting some of the time in is huge. I mean, when I'm consistent, which, you know, I go through spurts, uh, it's like, I'm, I get like, I get a lot of great, you know, I, I, my number, like my followers are going up. I got a lot of great interaction and, you know, it's just a domino effect of like the whole of just, you know, just getting that engagement, which is what you want. Definitely. And you have to know how to do it properly because it's such a saturated market out there right now. I mean, everyone's on social media ever since the pandemic hit, we've got just so many people online. So it's really um, a, a matter of, getting that point of difference and getting mm -hmm. people to, to see you for what you are and give it, give it, getting that visual difference and that individuality that you can put out there that people are not going to just scroll by because it's, we all just scroll, scroll, scroll. So we want people to stop the scroll. Yeah. So it's really learning how to stop the scroll to get those people to notice you. Um, and, and obviously being consistent. So I'm going to keep you to that. I'm going to make oh. you be consistent, consistent, <laughs> Consistency is key. You know, that, oh, that know. consistency, we have to, we, we, we've got to keep, you know, being consistent and then people trust us and that trust is, is so important. So yeah, for sure. But yeah, Terry is a huge success and she's worked so hard and um, I loved coaching her because we had like crazy, like our, our sessions were just work, work, work. And she implemented every single thing I said. She was just fantastic. So it does, it honestly does make such a huge difference. I would agree. I would agree. So how about we like, just talk like, what are some fun facts about you? <laughs> okay. Fun facts about me. All right. So I have four girls. <laughs> wow. Yes. So I have four girls. I'm a single mom and I have four girls. Wow. Um, I have a little puppy who I love. She's now 13 and she's the love of my life. Um, okay. I went zip lining once and thought oh, I was going to die because I was so petrified. <laughs> really? I thought you Australians were like daredevils. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm not a daredevil, but yeah, zip lining. And I went, it was in, um, where were we? We were in South America somewhere. And cause we were living in America at the time. And it was like the most scary thing I've ever done in my life. I literally thought I was going to die. <laughs> I thought it was so beautiful there though. The thing is, it was so crazy. We, we went, we had booked, so we couldn't cancel and we did it in the rain and oh. lying upside down on a piece of wire when you, and we were 120 yeah. stories above the ground, 120 stories. That's how it was the highest zip line <laughs> when it's raining and the, and it's, and it's wet and you're petrified is just, yeah. you know, I'm happy I did it, but did you do <laughs> it, it definitely was a rush. No, <laughs> I would probably be, so I'm a, I'm a little bit of a daredevil. I've gone skydiving. Like I, I would love to go to the planning, but I think in that situation, I'd probably be a little like freaked out too. I'd be like, mm, this might not be such a good idea with the rain and all that, but yeah, but that's cool. I've, did you take any I've got a, Yeah, I was going to say, I've got a photo of us when we got off the zip line and my face is just mud. <laughs> just the eye, it was just mud. <laughs> but yeah, I did take a photo. I'm happy that I did. It was a great experience. Yeah. But um, I'm not going to bungee jump, even though bungee jumps Australian. I'm not going to do that thing. I wouldn't either. I wouldn't <laughs> no. either. I've heard like horror stories with people like the bungee, the, the bungee snaps. So I'm okay oh. skydiving with the shoot. But I don't know, for some reason, like the bungee, it's like, I don't know, there's so, something no. about that. I don't know. No. My kids are bungee jumped. I'm like, no way, I'm not going to bungee jump. <laughs> How old are your daughters? Do you mind sharing? Yes. So they range. I've got, so they go from um, 20 to 30. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So I bet you yeah. they were a handful over the last couple of years. Yeah, it's for, been for a journey. years, because I'm yeah, the it's five and I have two, two, not two daughters, I have two sisters, but I do have four stepdaughters and like, I've experienced it all. And I did know yeah. like girls, like when you have a lot of girls together, <laughs> it can yeah. get a little rough. <laughs> I will say there is such a thing as the teenage trench. A hundred percent. I will say that, but I'm very lucky. I have four wonderful girls 
and all of them are so um, amazing in their own way that all have paved their way in this in this world and they're all doing so well and I'm incredibly proud of the women the women that they are so yeah definitely I'm very very lucky well they have you as a mother so I would assume that they would oh. be amazing so oh that's so nice thank you air hug, <laughs> air hug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so cheesy sometimes. No, but yeah, I, I, love I mean, it. you've got great energy. I can feel it. And like, this has been, I'm having so much fun with you. So if people want to contact you. They can contact you on Facebook. You have a Facebook group that they can join. They can, you have a website that is believe by design. So B L I E V E by design, believe that you can do it and design your life. Awesome. So it's Believe by Design and on Instagram, it's the same thing, Believe by Design, Facebook, Believe by Design Community or Cindy Shames, which is Cindy with a Y, okay. C-I-N-D-Y and Shames, S-H-A-M-E-S. Very cool. I'm going to put all these links in the, in the body you. of the, the description of the episode so that people can contact you. And who knows, I might have to just contact you to just hire you for it to like just kick my butt in gear so that I, I will. it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Absolutely. Gosh, let me see what yeah. else I can add to the to my plate. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't. I function at my best when I have a lot to do. Like yeah. I'm, a, I'm a highly efficient, high high energy person. When I don't have a lot, I tend to like it's it's not it's not good for me for my personality. Yeah. But I'm the same. The, the more you give me, the better I am. The more I have on my. I love working. I work seven days a week. I absolutely adore what I do. I love my business. I adore my clients. When I'm not with them, I'm looking for things to help them with, you sure. know, on the side, sending them things during the week. It's so great if you can love what you're doing and you can find your passion. That's just the best. I totally agree. So is there any words of wisdom that you would like to leave for the audience for, to kind of like, you know, tease them a little teaser <laughs> for them to reach out? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like if you can really believe, everyone's got their own special something. And if you can truly believe that you have got something to share with the world that nobody else has got, that's just your special source or your special, your, your special magic, believe that you can put it out there because you can and be bold. Don't be afraid. I think so many people are afraid to put themselves out there. Even if it's a busy market, even if it's so crowded out there, there is some people that are really want what you have to offer. So sure. go out there and create an amazing world for your life. Oh, sorry, amazing life for yourself yes. because you're the only one that can do this. Yes. So I believe in you and I know that all of you can do this. So go out there and share your magic with the world. And I'm so grateful for you um, and your time listening to this podcast today. Deanna, you're amazing. And oh, um, I'm so no, grateful you are. that I have with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. I'm like so happy that we actually got that to work because that was just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, I had yeah. like five meetings back to back and then I'm like, okay, I have like 15 minutes before I got to get ready for this. So <laughs> I was just like, oh, anyways. But thank you. Oh, good. Well, I hope that um, I hope to hear from some of you. And thank you so much. And I'm sure you and I will be in touch. And, and once again, take care. Go out there and be amazing. That's right. All right, you guys. On that note, this is your ho host, Deanna Kempel with Label Free Podcast. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I look forward to sharing another amazing guest with you soon.